Well, there we go. That is a uh, penis. Up uh, with Kaizen, absolutely outstanding. So uh, go and check them out. They're on a UK tour through January and February. But now it's time to go back over to the live band. And obviously I have to uh, ask them a couple of, just one quick question. Um, how did you come up with the name for the band? Um, I live on the Central Line. Oh, and Queensway is yes. a Central Line stop. Uh, and yeah. I stayed out there for quite a bit. Yeah, I lived in Queensway. Yeah? Um, the Square, just off from... Whiteleys. See, everyone's connected yeah. to Queensway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's alright. You had a good time up there. Yeah, yeah there's nice a good Chinese up there apparently. Yeah, and uh, the the kebabs were quite good. I'm from a bit yeah. further up the road, and there was a good club over the other side. Oh well, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Oh, man, let's go there after. Come yeah, on, come back to London. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the weight of a time in Queensway. Uh, uh, but anyway, on that note, I uh, have to pass it over to you for your yeah. next um, live track. This next song's called Brighton Girl, and it's it's quite soft and you know beautiful and all that. What? <laughs> I don't really know who you are But I swear I've seen your face before But then it doesn't really matter Cause we've got plenty of time Cause I'm just one of those people Who likes to take things slow I don't think we're ready to be taking one another home. But then it doesn't really matter, cause we've got plenty of time. Since you 
can spend all our time throwing stones in the sea And we can walk the lanes No matter the weather And we can drink some tea And talk nonsense together Well, that was very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Cheers. Very, very nice. It's about Brighton. Uh, A little Brighton girl. I know Brighton girl. Well, I used to know Brighton girl. Maybe Brighton Girls out there listening. No, who knows? So who knows? Uh, but we're going to get back um, round about uh, 9.45 because we've got a little, uh, we'll have a little advert break and uh, we'll have a little word from our sponsor. Sure, sure, sure. But you right for, for 20 minutes? Yeah. Go and chill out, take it easy? Yeah. Awesome. Brilliant. Well, so that is Queensway. Then we'll be back in round about 9.45 uh, right after these uh, advert breaks and I'll be talking to my sponsor, Mark, about his time at the DPP Festival. Back in two. The Premium Blends Radio Show. <laughs> That's right, my name is Stuart Clack Lewis. We are still live and exclusive on 95.9 Housham FM. And uh, now we're going to go over to uh, my sponsor, Mark Stack from Zubron, to chat about his uh, well, jaunt. It's the, uh, the DPP Festival. It was. Um, it was on January 2nd and 3rd. Uh, this 3rd month. and 4th. 3rd and 4th, you're, yeah. you're right. Um, I literally got into the DPP Festival purely because of you and your show. I'd heard you play tracks by uh, Tom Lumley, and also Franco Fraze, and yes. I thought they were absolutely amazing. And then all of a sudden, I just saw that the, they were playing this little festival I'd never heard of up in Derby. Um, so I went up for that, and it's run by uh, Don Penner, DPP uh, Promotions. Yes. And the guy has just got such an ear for for music, and I was just literally sold on it. And and I've been to them all ever since. Yeah, because apparently you've, you've uh, I've seen the videos that you post up when the the, the acts that they've had on have been absolutely outstanding, and yeah, it's just been just sheer quality, just really sheer quality. It, it's just it's in the Sitwell um, Tavern, which is a little small back street pub in the se- centre of Derby. It's you know it, it's a pub with a function room that has been turned into a venue, and it's just really old school, but it's re- really really good. Uh, so, what's the the format of the festival? Well, um, essentially, it was um, over two days: the Friday, the Saturday, six na- six acts on each night and then on the, on the Saturday there was um, a late night set um, which was done by City Lights who you played yes, uh, so last I've, night yeah, I've played quite a few of their tracks from, and they've been absolutely fantastic every track of theirs has been outstanding so. they were so good they were so good um, so we're going to play uh, a couple of your favourite tracks from the artists that you saw at the festival yeah, um, you, who's your first track? my first track is from um, MZ. Um she has such a versatility from her set I saw her um, play DPP back in June last year as well um, and she's she's getting into her stride as a performer now. It's becoming far more confident, and I lo- I just love the, her recorded stuff as well. It works really really well. Yes, the the track that she sent over is absolutely beautiful. Um, we're going to play uh, as this day fades into another. Pretending to 
Look at that, it's uh, Esme with uh, This Day Fades Into Another. Absolutely outstanding, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, so who else was uh, who else was involved in this year's festival? So following uh, MZ was Roller, um, a three-piece local band, um, really en- energetic, fun drummer, and a lead singer who literally looked like he'd just walked out of a Peaky, Peaky Blinders set. <laughs> it, it, was, it was fun to watch. Um, new band, uh, but tons of potential there. Um, they were followed by another local band called Animal. Um, unfortunately, I missed most of their set because I was having a breather outside and chatting to, to other guys. Sorry, guys, <laughs> for that. Um, I definitely will check you out again. Then next up was the Kukumaras. Um, apparently, they're named after a notorious shop bar in the home city of Nottingham. Um, mm, a very interesting. Band. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're a, they're a fun, fun group of people. Um, four-piece band with um, Oliver and Joshua up front with Dan and Joe uh, doing the rhythm section um, I, what I really liked about them they had sort of a, a Lennon, Lennon McCartney sort of thing going on where um, both Ol- Oliver and Josh would actually sing their own songs but the other one would be the in support okay. uh, and it was, it was actually really refreshing to see that yeah. sort of thing coming through again um, they've had support slots with Sheafs and Noah Ashes so they're doing really well then the import- penultimate band of the first night was 32 Tens. What can I say about them? It's the reason I go off to gigs like this, to find bands that you actually fall in love with. Um, you're going to find me just raving, raving, raving about these guys for the rest of this year. They had such an impact. They're an indie band with a good bit of rap in there. Yes. Um, the bio says there are three piece, but I sort of remember them being four, but... To maybe, that was, uh, maybe that was one too many shows. No, it wasn't. It, it was basically because of Max, the lead singer. Mm-hmm. He is so intense that it, it, the, the whole room is just literally focused on, on watching him. And you know me, I hate normally when lead singers close their eyes and break that yes. connection with an audience. But with him, it, it was actually compelling. And because he just what brought it in, brought it in. And then he would literally just, at right moment, just open his eyes. And it was really, really sort of yes. chilling. And. and, and and it was mental. Um, but yeah, because uh, you, uh, you sent me a message saying that he looked as if he was sort of escaped from a, a lunatic asylum, but in a good way. Yeah, <laughs> I better explain that one, hadn't I? Yeah, it, it, it really was. There was just um, such a maverick madness about him that.